Hi, this is again Shweb. Welcome to my next tutorial of electronics component and circuits in which I am going to review and tell about multimeter in depth. This instrument is called multimeter. As we all know that multimeter is an instrument designed to measure electric current, voltage and usually resistance typical over the several range of value. This thing we study in engineering Friends, multimeter is like a stratoscope for an electronics engineer. But the question, how it is used? So today I am going to tell you how multimeter is used and how to use it for different type of calculations like resistance, voltage, DC current, AC current, transistor and continuity. So first I on this instrument, it is on. As we see there, there are two sections left hand side and right hand side left hand side is v this is called dc current and right hand side a means this is called ac current this is for ac current so first we check for dc current so this section is usually used for measuring voltage from 200 milli volt up to 1000 volt and this section is used for measuring resistance value. This is used for measuring transistor value. This one is used for diode as well as measuring continuity. This one is <coughs> sign of transistor. When you use to calculate the transistor value, we put this regulator at this point. This section is used to measure AC current means AC voltage so first I am gonna tell you how to measure voltage using multimeter as we see in multimeter we have two testing wires red one is positive and black one is negative I have this 12 volt adapter which value I am gonna check through my multimeter so first I plug this it is on uh, before checking voltage of adapter I'm gonna tell you one thing like uh, this is a pin of my adapter so the upper portion is negative one and inner portion is positive one means inside the pin it is positive portion like the value of my adapter is 12 volts so I set this at 20 because there is no option of 12 so 12 is come under 20 that's why I set this at 20 means 20 volt I am not able to use my both hand because from my left hand I used to record this video that's why I plug positive inside the pin and now I am gonna touch negative outside as we see 12.91 volt so this is a way to calculate DC voltage through multimeter now I'm gonna tell you how to cal calculate resistance value like I have 100 E means 100 ohm of resistance so I'm going to tell you how it is calculate using multimeter the first thing which is do set multimeter to calculate resistance value so I set this at 20 ohm because there is no option of 100 ohm so I set this at 20 ohm means 200 ohm sorry 200 ohm I place the resistance over there see 98.9 because there is no polarity in resistance so it doesn't matter which end is connected with negative and which end is connected with positive as we see it's 98.9 now I'm going to tell you how to check diode so first thing I set this at diode this is a symbol of diode I have this LED because we all know that LED is also a form of diode means light emitting diode so I'm gonna check this LED as in my previous tutorial I will I was tell you uh, the black means the bigger leg is positive and neg negative leg is a smaller one as we see I connected negative pin with negative leg of LED and uh, I try to connect positive pin with positive leg 
as we see negative is connected with negative leg and positive is connected with positive leg leg and led is start glow this is how we check diode any type of diode by using multimeter now the next component is transistor so how to check it i will tell you as i told you in my previous tutorial from right hand side you count emitter base collector so i insert this transistor according to emitter base collector there i already put and set this at transistor hef as we can see value is 253 means transistor is is okay means it is not defective if the value is below 70 60 it's mean your transistor is defective now move toward the next checking which is called continuity first i remove this transistor friends continuity is nothing but a end to end connectivity of any circuit or we can say wire what we do we connect negative pin and positive pin of multimeter with two ending of circuit or wire and if there is no break between the wire from end to end then multimeter give a beep sound like i already connected my pins with two end of wire so for checking continuity first we put this regulator at continuity index this one let's see it will give a buzzer sound which mean it is continuous from end to end means there is no breaking this is how we check the continuity of any circuit and wire now let's move to world ac voltage so first thing which we do set this regulator at ac supply i set this at 750 volt but please do it very carefully because it is dangerous i suggest you if you are newcomer then please do not do this like i have a 220 volt regulated supply like i insert this in plug and see it's 162 volt like i insert my pin in plug see it's 166 volt that's how we check ac voltage also with the help of multimeter friends i hope this video proved helpful for you all and thanks for watching my tutorial please subscribe my channel I will be back again with some more interesting video regarding electronics component and circuit. Again thanks for watching my video.